Okay, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a spot channel 1 and spot channel 2 um, plus create a gang sheet. Um, this is for UV DTF uh, printers. Um, this one in particular is for our Majesty 600 uh, UV DTF printer. Um, so you're going to want to start off by going up to new and creating a new one. So we're going to go off of 13 inches. Um, you have a 13 inch, you're going to want to put that down to 12 inches. If you have a 24 inch, so if you have 24, you're going to want to put that down to 23 inches. Okay, so we're going to work off of a, um, a 13 inch uh, printer. So you're going to want to set uh, width at 12 inches. Your height is the amount of uh, however many images you're going to do. It will create the height of it. We're going to say 100 inches. So this is in inches. And that will be 100 inches. Your resolution, 300. Make sure that's 300. And it's in pixels and inches. Okay. Uh, your color can be RGB. Uh, you have to go transparent. And this can all stay the same. So just make sure that you're, uh, you're transparent and you're in RGB. It can be CMYK or RGB, it doesn't matter um, in this case. So just go RGB um, and then hit uh, Create. So there we go. Now we have our canvas um, 12 inches by 100 inches. So um, now we want to add uh, we want to add our artwork. So I'm just going to open up uh, some of the artwork I have um, in mine and then use that as an example. The DTF, we'll go to mixed, my mixed TIFFs. Um, so we'll drag a few in there. Um, sorry, uh, we'll open a few. So if you want to open more than one, uh, just kind of hold control and it will pick other ones as well. And then it'll open those. And, and if you're, so while you're holding uh, control, you can kind of scroll out and see all of your files. You don't necessarily have to stay right up here. Um, so anyhow, so I'm just going to pick like these three here, uh, or four, sorry. So let's go with these four. So it's going to open up one, two, three, and four in my bars across here. So this is my canvas, and let's start off with this image here. So we're going to just drag this outside um, the box and put it beside your canvas. Make sure that you are on the Move tool. Click on the artwork drag it over and onto your canvas and then you can just sort of make it small for now we'll go and resize in a few minutes so we'll take oops so hit enter um, after you resize just hit enter and then um, you can close this one now because we have it uh, within our canvas so let's go to our next one we're going to drag that off i'm going to choose it drag it over here it's just a little big we'll resize in a second reposition and then i'll close this we'll take this guy we're going to drag him out drag him into here oops i forgot to push enter so see what happens when you forget to push enter it sort of goes back to the original size so just bring it down hit enter and now you can kind of just so i'm just kind of just minimizing it quick um, until i get all my images in that i'm using for my gang sheet um, so then I'll just drag this one over here and drag, whoop, drag you over here. There. Okay. So now that's all for my images. I'm done with my images. I'm just back to my canvas now. Um, so now I got the images on my canvas. I'm going to scroll in on this a bit by, um, by holding, uh, alt, uh, alt and just scrolling in or plus or minus on the keyboard. So if you hit plus, it'll scroll, it'll go in. And if you hit minus, it'll come out um, holding uh, alt button. So um, just scroll in. Um, you set this to inches. So I have this set in inches. It'll tell you your inches, four or five. Um, so I'm going to do these all at like, uh, just for argument's sake, like uh, three. Uh, three point, uh, let's go to three, just close to three there. Okay, so we're at three and we'll bring this guy so hit enter after you choose the size again and then you can pick a different one and we'll just go down to three we'll move him there 
I'll grab this guy. Kind of want to make this guy the back of the shirt maybe or something. So usually on shirts you go about 9 inches for the front and back. 9, 10 inches. If it's like an extra large, maybe 11.5 11, 11 inches or so. Um, so I'm going to drag this one up here for a minute. And then um, I'll enter because I resized it. And then now I go to this one. I'll make this one just uh, three, 3 inches as well. So... Once you get to this stage, now we have all our images sized. So if I got like, you know, I'm going to say I have uh, three, three or yeah, three of these t-shirts. So I'm going to grab this and then I'm going to hit enter and then it'll stay there. Just click on it, press control and alt and it'll, it'll copy it. And then you can let go, hit enter, click on, oops. Click on it again and hit Alt, uh, Control, Alt, and then just make another one and bring it over there. So now I got three. Now, if I wanted to make six, I could take my, my, uh, my Move tool and I could choose all three of these and then click Control, Alt, and then drag and, and copy all three at the same time. And then now you have six. And you can do, then you can do six if you want and so on and so forth. So that's how you can like kind of uh, copy things. That's Control Alt um, while you're on the image, and it will copy the image over. Then you just hit Enter, and it'll drop it. And I'm going to delete this one because that was just a sample. Uh, we're going to make uh, you know uh, three of these three bears. We'll just do three bears. So we'll go one, um, Enter, choose the image, Control Alt, and then left click and another one and control alt left click whoops uh, enter choose them control alt and then over and there we go we got three bears now we're going to choose this one we're going to do the same thing with the gangster panda uh, just make three so we'll go one two three and this one here we'll do three of these so again, choose it, just get on it. Once you've chosen it, control alt, left click, bang, another one. And scroll up, control alt, and another one. There we go. Okay, so now we have our gang sheet. Okay, that was just a quickly created gang sheet. So what you need to do next after you have your gang sheet created um, is if you have any extra um, inches left up here, you don't want this printing just blank. So you go over to your crop tool and you kind of scroll out, go to the top, drag it down to just by the image. You want to leave a little bit of space. Um, we'll scroll in and see how much. It's always good to scroll right in and, uh, oops, enter, and see exactly where that crop line is. So that's fine. Um, I mean, you can even go a little bit more if you want and just, it'll stop right there. You don't waste a lot of film. Hit enter. Okay, so now we're cropped. So now I've got my crop, got my gang sheet, I'm good to go. So now what we do is we go over into this, uh, this box over here. I like to scroll down to the bottom and get the very bottom one. Make sure it's highlighted. Then go up to the top, hold shift, and just left click once so it selects all layers. So now you have all the layers selected. You're gonna wanna right click and then go merge layers. So I'm gonna merge all those layers together. So now all the layers are merged. I'm gonna make sure it's highlighted. And in this box here, you're gonna to wanna to right click and collect and select pixels. Okay, so now we have our pixels selected. We're gonna go over to our channels. Now for UV DTF, um, we go over to new spot channel. Now, it now if it's your first time doing it, it'll be labeled something else. So you're going to want to make sure you capital S has to be a capital S B O T spot underscore one. Okay. And then down here, it's defaulted to zero. Okay. So it's not going to put as much red. So you want to make sure that this is set to 100. Okay, so you got your spot one, your solidarity at 100, and 
click OK. That's our spot one channel for our white done. Now what we're going to do is create a, a channel two for our varnish. So we're going to go over to new spot channel. And all we're going to do here is just put two. Change that to a two. Make sure it's spot underscore two. And this has to be a capital S. And your solidarity is at 100%. Now, once you do this once, it pretty much stays um, defaulted to the 100 and stuff, but you want to make sure it's at 100 and spot underscore one and, and two. So that has to be exactly the same. And then you click OK. Now I have my spot one, my spot two, and I'm good to um, start doing printing on my UV DTF and make some stickers. So from this point, I want to save this file. So we click file, save a copy, then you're going to go over and you're going to title it. We'll just title this one test gang sheet. And then you're going to save as type TIFF. So just save as type TIFF. Now leave everything here the same and then just hit save. At this point here, this is your image compression. So you can go a little bit lower, um, but I just leave it the same. And then if I'm not using this gang sheet after, I will delete it, but we're gonna leave it uh, image compression none. So just leave everything defaulted the same here. And then click okay. Including layers will increase file size. That's fine. That's okay. And now it is saved. Uh, let's go to my main drive. Uh, I don't know where that saved to. I forgot where that saved to. Let's just see quickly. Uh, save copy as it goes to mixed. Oh, so it went into TIFF. All right, so it went into there. I didn't look, but just default. So save it to where you want. Um, choose a place to save it. And then there it is there. So that's my gang sheet. Um, it's a TIFF file, okay? And it's 318 megabytes, which isn't too bad. Okay, so now from this point here, you're going to take this and you're going to put this into your RIP software. Or in um, in your in our case, it's Flexi. Um, so you, that's where that's where you're going with this next. So in Flexi, um, that's where you send it to the RIP software, and it converts over to another file for uh, your printing for it to actually print. Um, so this this one here, this is the file you'll use um, when you open up Flexi. You're going to add this file in, and that's your gang sheet file with spot one and spot two. Uh, for your UV DTF printer. Um, thanks for watching.